Gender equity means being value for your skills, regardless of your gender, no matter what. Equal access to resources and opportunities for um, both sexes in this case, but as part of a broader issue of uh, equality. To me, gender equity means everybody having the opportunity to develop their potential to the fullest. At its core, it's about mindset and it's just changing um, your, your mindset and once you start looking at the data it just you, you start seeing um, gender equity issues everywhere um, in a way that you've never really noticed them before so I, I, I often go to conferences now and you know I'll, I'll be watching a panel and I'll realize that it's all you know male uh, the panelists and it's something I might not have noticed before but because I've gone through that process of thinking about it it's immediately obvious to me. Monash's gender equity strategy is multifaceted. It goes to the opportunities for women to understand their career possibilities. It goes to their ability to manage work-life balance, family and caring responsibilities, and also for men in that context. Support for parents and carers is critical to the university's ability to retain talent. As part of Athena's One Action Plan, we introduced new initiatives that are tailored to both academic and professional staff to help them more successfully manage their transition to parent to leave and their subsequent return to work. The way that Monash is tackling gender equity is fantastic. I think they're positioning themselves as a leader in this space. Firstly, by providing fantastic support across the board. Um, and I've taken that on as in my role as head of department. And um, one example is making sure that I encourage um, flexible working arrangements for people, particularly those with families. Because again, that's the sort of thing that I've enjoyed in the past um, and has helped me enormously in my career progression. There's a, an important role for males to play in gender equity. If I can be supported at work in uh, having flexibility around looking after my kids as well as supporting my partner in looking after our kids. It'll improve both family and my work life. I came to Monash more than 20 years ago. I started as a research fellow on a fixed term contract and I progressed all the way to professor. And along the way, I was head of school, I was deputy dean of the faculty of IT with a team of uh, a leadership team of more than 50% women, which is fantastic, I think. Um, and that is not only because uh, there were opportunities, which of course I took, but because I could benefit from a lot of different programs. And it's great to see that Monash continues doing this. Right now at Monash, I was introduced to the Monash Mentoring for Women program. For the first time in my life, I got a mentor, which I'd never had before. She helps me with a lot of the career opportunities that I might have in the future. And she advises me on a, a lot of different career aspects. I think just having diversity in general, I think, you know, leads to better ideas and better collaborations and it's good for everybody really. In recent times, we've turned our minds and efforts to combating unconscious bias, which governs many of the most important decisions made in the contemporary employment sectors. An important initiative in this space, led by Athena Swan, is our training on inclusive leadership. It's designed to build a strong knowledge base around the key principles of diversity and inclusion and to help staff gain a better understanding and awareness of unconscious thinking patterns. So there are many aspects of the strategy. We know there are many paths that have to be followed in order to achieve greater gender equality. The future, I mean, you know, I mean, I've got two little girls. I've got twin girls, they're turning three at the end of this month. So I'd like to think that, um, you know, it, it, that, that there will be true equality in the future. When it comes to engineering, it, we've got a long way to go. Specifically in my field of work in structural engineering, progress for me would mean that in any STEM team, in the engineering team, we would have the same amount of men and women and we would have the same great minds and ideas of both of these groups. In future, we'd like to see diversity and inclusion synonymous with excellence and innovation so that recruiters will start paying premium for the value that difference brings. In, in a sense, the absence of a gender equity policy in the end is the outworking of a successful policy. Everyone uh, looks at STEM and thinks immediately of a male. The first is not true, and second is sad. It, it, needs to, it needs to change, you need to create, um, not create because they are there, but you need to promote 
uh, more female role models so that um, uh, girls and boys who start school can think about, oh yeah, I want to be like her. It's not all the time I want to be like him, it's I want to be like her, look at her, she's doing, she's changing the world, she's helping people. That's what we need more.